Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Rob, and with me today is Kathleen from Siemens. Now, we've all heard of Siemens. We know they do lots of things, but please tell us specifically what you're working on. So I'm chief architect for this solution, and what we do is we, uh, we automate insight from product performance data in order to provide product intelligence and help customers take all the data about the life cycle of their products from their digital thread, bring it together, and be able to make de better decisions about their products. Okay, fantastic. So let's talk about the ar architecture itself. So uh, if I'm a customer of this system, where do I get started? So uh, you start by working with our data integration specialists and what they do is they go into your organization and they help you collect all the data from the entire life cycle of the product. And uh, from the design data to the manufacturing and test data, as well as the service data. And they bring all that data together and they uh, set up a process for the customer to upload that data into S3. Once the data is in S3, we have automated scheduled processes that take that data, map it into various formats using EMR. And then once the data is in those formats, it serves up those data into different storage engines that facilitate our applications. And the customer interacts with our applications. Those storage engines are a combination of HBase, uh, Parquet file format, which provides very efficient SQL queries, and uh, Solar as a search engine. Okay, so you have all of these analytic engines lined up against this customer source data. What, what are customers doing with this data? So customers use this data to uh, do a various uh, things. So they want to understand what's happening with their data. So from there, they are using the search engine to see uh, what does my product lifecycle look like? What happened to this cell phone during its test processes? What is happening to the so cell maybe phone Maybe if I had service? a manufacturing defect or something that went long, along down the line, you could discover that through this process. Exactly. So if you have a, a particular problem with, with uh, a particular product, you can put into the search engine some attributes and narrow down what might, uh, what other, uh, what, what serial numbers might be impacted, what is the scope of the problem, and things like that. So once you're there, then uh, the second step is to understand why that might be happening. Mm -hmm. And so we also provide a uh, KPI analysis engine, and we allow the customer then to say, what is happening with my yield? What does my yield look like? So they can configure any KPI, and then we automate the discovery. We do combinational analysis to tell them what factors might be impacting their positive or negative yield. And so the combination of those, those two tell them what is happening and sort of why it might be happening. Okay, so source data, analytics, got a lot of other pieces up here on the board. So what are some of these front end pieces as far as how do customers get to their application and interface with it? So the customers access the application through a web interface. So our front end UI is based on Polymer and it's hosted on CloudFront. And the UI interacts with the services. We are a microservices architecture and our microservices are deployed on a combination of Elastic Beanstalk and EC2 instances. And the applications access those services through our API gateway, which is uh, running on Amazon API gateway. So this allows us uh, to build our own applications. It allows other Siemens groups to build applications using our APIs on top of it, and uh, also third parties to uh, build uh, applications that are interact with our services. Finally, like, what about the, the next step? What about making the products better? So the next step is uh, what we call pr um, predictive analytics. So with predictive analytics, we can do two things. We can understand everything that has happened to these products, and we can predict, predict what might happen. So we use a combination of machine learning algorithms and data science in order to facilitate that. That runs in a cluster on, on EMR, so the customer can spin up a data science workspace. Uh, it runs on EMR and uses Spark as its uh, processing engine, and then they can do uh, their model training to predict what might happen with their products. They can use this for predictive maintenance, but they can also use this to help uh, improve their product design. So the idea of because we have uh, all the products within the product lifecycle management, we can now tie the digital thread from the service data using all this historical information and all these analysis techniques and we can close the loop in manufacturing to help them design better products in the future. Excellent. Well, Kathleen, 
Thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing your architecture with us and giving us a little insight into the world of product lifecycle management. And thank you for joining us for another episode of This Is My Architecture.